That depends very much on who and what that normal citizen is. The question reminds me a little of one of the artsy posters that a Dutch organization called Legi used to put out. It said did you ever meet a normal person? And below that it continued and did you like it? Obviously this was a playful reminder of the fact that a normal person does not really exist because we are all individuals with our own strengths and weaknesses. E.g. I had the privilege to spend two years of my life doing research on solar materials as a postdoctoral scholar at what is now the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. I realize that few people, even scientists, get such opportunities. Does that make me abnormal? Dunno. Will it save the planet? Probably not by itself, but I do think it enables me to bring a somewhat different perspective here than others can. This means that the answer to this question is highly personal. Of course, there are things that we may all do as our humble personal contribution. We can all be more conscious about our choices in life. Is this wonderful trip flying around the world really necessary to find fulfillment in our lives? Should I eat a huge steak, half of which I end up throwing away because my stomach protests or is tofu in sweet and sour soy sauce a nice alternative for a change? Darn, why did I leave this light on for no good reason? Should I go for a long walk in the forest hunting birds with my binoculars or waste a lot of energy on a gas-guzzling quad tearing the forest floor apart under my powerful tires? What do I consider, cool? What do I say to people who disagree with me on that? We can all make such small choices more responsibly. We can all communicate with other people more responsibly. Will that save the planet? Probably not, but it may buy us all a little more time to find solutions. Many, if not most of those solutions will have to come from a major paradigm shift in the technology that our economies are based upon. This is especially true about the energy sources we use to fuel that economy. None of us can affect that change as a single person, not even if we are billionaires, which most of us are not. This means that our responsibilities are not limited to the choices that only affect us personally. We are individuals of a highly social species. That means we also have social and political responsibilities in our interactions with others. In families, clubs, churches, workplaces, action groups, sports, social media and political parties alike. One thing we can all do is to fight the propaganda trying to tell us that we should simply accept things as they are going. We are constantly bombarded by messages that resistance is futile, unnecessary and evil. Common themes are. The victims of climate change are the culprits. If they protest yet more fracking or drilling for oil, they should just look at the hamburger they just ate there is no problem. It is all a hoax. There is a problem. Climate is changing, but humans had nothing to do with that there is a problem, but none of the solutions will ever work there is a problem, therefore we need to all accept nuclear energy so that the same huge conglomerations can remain in control of us all scientists are all evil madmen as shown in so many cartoons to our children it is all hopeless anyway, so you might well enjoy while it lasts. You are really quite a loser if you don't waste a lot of energy. We can all resist this assault on the survival of our species in the healthy and prosperous future or our descendants by putting in a little brain power. Being a little knowledgeable about it goes a long way. Knowing this little detail about the development of hydrogen tech inserted in a family discussion may well derail this uncle's rant he picked up from all the disinformation online. Oh, it may not shut him up for good. But there may be others listening who'll notice that his rant did not go unchallenged. In conclusion, there may be a lot more that a normal person can do, provided she puts her mind to it. And yes, it does matter because it all adds up, even if that is not so obvious at once.